All right, here we go. It's powered up. Now uh, we replace the props. Um, Kai seemed to think that we had a prop issue here. Disarmed runaway. This is the maiden flight of the Kai One. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to move our maiden flight over to this area over here, which is kind of nice. It's a area that I like to do some testing on. It's flat, and if I do jump off the edge, um, it'll be soft. So uh, what we want to do is a little bit of a hover test, and then if we do have a successful hover test. We're going to go ahead and fly a little bit in this field. All right, here we go. It's powered up. Now uh, we replace the props. Um, Kai seemed to think that we had a prop issue here. Disarmed runaway. What happened? I, these don't buy these damn props. That's why. That's why they give them away. So I'm gonna go home, replace all my props. Um, we know we can arm. We got all that stuff working. Maybe I'll fly the Avada <laughs> right now. Um, everything seems free. Uh, these are hard mounted. There's no, um, it doesn't have the, it doesn't have the issues that we had with the other props. Let's go ahead and turn the goggles on. Let's go ahead and power up the drone. All right, so we're back. Uh, had to re, I had to rebind everything because I bound up to the Avada. So don't forget to bring something pointy. <laughs> so I had to go find some, uh, find the tip of a knife. We should be good now. We should be ready to go. Yep, there we are. All right. So um, what I'm gonna do this time is put it, the quad out here in a place where it's clear, so we can see the props spin up. Camera up here. Make sure you can see spin up of the props. And I'm going to do, I'm in angle mode here, or horizontal mode. There. Uh, there we go. Uh, now we're armed. All right. So. Yep. All right, so we, the problem we have is one of our props, our left rear prop is spinning the wrong direction. So what I'm gonna attempt to do here is to connect to beta flight and see if I can change. Here we go, motor direction. So it's this one, motor direction is reversed. So let's see, reorder motors. So that should have changed the motor direction on that left rear prop. So here we go, let's, let's see what happened. Let's give it a shot. All right, so that should have fixed it. Now all the motors are spinning the right direction. All right, here we go. Um, there we go, Speedy B. Let me go ahead and disconnect this, put it away, and we should be we should be ready to fly. All right. All right. So that was the that was the first time I've ever I ever used that was the first time I ever used. Uh, beta flight to do a in the field fix. And that was without Kai. So pr that was pretty intuitive. So all the motors should be spinning the correct way. Okay. All right, here we go. Let's, uh, let's get a spin up and let's get a flight going. Uh, first let's test the, um, so we've got, uh, All right, 
that, we are ready to go. All right, here we go. Let's fly, man. Let's fly it. <laughs> cool as hell. All right, we are in... Uh, we are in... I uh, see a little bit of prop there. It's okay. But uh, she is smooth and quiet. And I am just practicing my flying skills right now because I have not flown in a while and I'm just in horizon mode and I will bring her back here in just a little bit I don't really like oh look at how pretty it is out there I, I do not like flying in horizon mode when I've got let's go ahead and set it down switch over to manual now we are in full manual Oh, so much easier. Gosh almighty. And she is quiet. I can't see my OSD, by the way. And this is the maiden flight. Maiden flight of the... of the Kai-2. And she is a beautiful flyer. Remember, this is my first time flying this, this thing, so... Uh, I did fix my my flight stick on the left side. OSD looks uh, is low. I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna bring the OSD or even or narrow down my. I'd say the angle is good. This has got a uh, set angle. And now we're up in altitude, which is kind of cool. We will not. Much more than that today. I'm gonna get crazy until I get used to flying it, but it is smooth. Uh, this is my first time flying a, a five inch quad. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna say I'm gonna stay over the field just to get a, get a feel. Doing, I'm doing NASCAR turns because that's what I'm most, that's what I'm. That's what I'm best at. There we go. There we go. There's some soccer goals down there. Let's have some fun with those, can I? But I am not, you can see I'm not messing around today. Very responsive. Nice little snap turn right there. here on my initial flight now this is a high voltage uh, 6s battery 720 and I'm gonna let the flight time determine itself because I will I'll watch the time that I've flown today about three minutes so far into this flight there's the tree of death right there should I get close to it probably not today but she's got a lot of punch. She's not carrying an extra camera. And that is the beauty of the flying with the air unit. Oh, low battery, all right. Uh, very nice. What a responsive thing. Gosh, this is so cool. You didn't even know. Uh, I'm sorry it's over a park, but that's what you gotta do. Um, likes a little bit of prop in view. I think I can, I think I can get that out though. In, uh, in, uh, I can get that out in uh, cropping. I'll split us there. 
It's a little battery, so I'm gonna take it in and see what it means. It should be. Um, let's go ahead and go ahead and go open bracket and put it back in horizon mode. Oh, see, it's low and I can't see the bottom of the screen. So let's just fly it back over to me. And we will set it down in a safe distance. There we go. All right, first, let's see, we got 20 volts. Let's see, max speed 51, 539 total to arm. Uh, 296 so I've got lots um, let's see how much what's my voltage at 22.1 oh. all right so there it is all right so um, a little bit tougher this was my first time through setting up an 03 um, yes it's as beautiful and as wonderful as the Avada video I have not uh, done anything with the video yet, but I can imagine it's going to be pretty cool. Um, very smooth and so light. Um, probably the biggest ad advantage of this, we'll see, hopefully we'll get that look smooth, but we'll see if there's any vibration, but I don't see any problems with this right now. Um, it was way cool setting up the Betaflight uh, on the fly. Uh, I love it. Uh, very intuitive. I, I knew you could do it, and it walked me right through the process. Um, I did not try the GPS rescue. Um, I probably should have done that. Maybe I will. I got, I got, I got time, so maybe I'll uh, throw the uh, uh, GPS rescue on really quick and do a quick run through on that. But all right, so here we go. This is the, this is a five inch. Uh, AOS, uh, well, this is a five inch uh, Rosser frame with a 20 by 20 Speedy B Mini, um, 30 amp ESCs, I believe. And these are uh, Brother Hobby 1404s, I'm almost sure. Okay, I think it was 1404s, just like the long range, um, wrong ranges have. So, uh, about five or six minutes of flight time. I don't know my flight time yet until I look at my voltage, um, um, but fun, very fun. So far, the most fun I've ever held, had flying a freestyle quad only, and yes, uh, it worked great. I did not mind uh, flying it with this. I thought it flew really well. The goggles, I'm actually thinking about moving towards the, if I can't get it fixed, my my vision issue fixed at moving towards the um the o2 the o2 goggles the uh, um just because of uh the size of the screen but uh i did not it's very difficult to see the osd um i'm probably going to try to move it up so that'll be my next goal is to move my osd to the top where i can see it take it off the bottom I don't mind it being in my in the top of the screen. So, all right, dead random, and I'm out of here. Uh, I'm gonna go do a quick live stream with you guys, and then I'm gonna go get a haircut. It's Friday. Fabulous. Later, bye. And huge success. I want to thank uh, my friend Kai Friedrichson for putting this puppy together with me and uh, making it a success because it uh, it was worth every second of it.